This is the Veteran Challenge for June 2024. Hey, I'm Mike. Welcome to the Veteran Challenge for June 2024. We're going to run through all nine rounds, collect the prizes, collect the token, etc. At the moment, I have seven tokens. I don't want that Porsche, so I'm going to wait until the next Epic gets to release. I think it might be next month, maybe the one after. So let's not hang around, let's go and have a look at it. You get two slots at round three. At round six is the token, and at round nine is a carbon fiber, just a generic carbon fiber. Okay, let's see if we can complete this relatively easily. Normally the veteran challenge, for me anyway, is difficult. It doesn't require you to use maximum cars from a pool. There's always only two, three or four, but I tend to get tied down to those cars anyway and it makes it harder for me. I don't know why. Okay, let's see what we got. Right, so we got two snow, two wet and one dry hairpin. So those three should be okay, but let's move that and let's find a couple of off-roaders. Got 37, 36 RQ. Um, what do we have? Right, we got a Put that in, but that doesn't give us much. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Right, let's run that and see what happens. Right, Dodge Ram against the Ford Ranger is an uh, easy win. Right, good. Three stars, that's the cash. The good thing about the veteran challenge is you get good cash. There's only nine rounds, but the rounds that are there, you get good cash. So this is the same tracks, different cars. Let's see if they work with my cars. I guess the biggest problem is going to be that second track. Yeah, okay, so we lost. Okay, so let's see what it is. Do we think it's that? It's the others look okay. It's that or the last race, isn't it? Second race or last race. I should have watched it. Let's swap out the second truck. Let's see what we've got. Chevy Blazer. Right, let's see if that runs. If it was the hairpin on the fifth race, then we'll know about it. Right, Dodge Ram in the first race wins, we know that. Second race is a blazer, new blazer. Yep, okay, good. So that was one of the problems. These two we're pretty confident in. Pacifica wins. Dodge Dart should be okay, it is, good. And the last race Yeah, good. Okay. Dodge wins. Right, so that's three stars, and that's another round done. Third round is for the two slots. Slots are always worthwhile having. They should be okay. But that last one's going to be a nightmare. Okay, so 36 RQ. That's not going to work, is it? We're going to have to reduce some stuff down somewhere. the best we can do 40 40 is not low enough okay let's see if we can get rid of the standard tire cars and put something in lower what have we got in the uncommons Aztec maybe the granite that gives us 55 is that going to be enough I quite like that Pontiac Trans Am. Oh, look at the stats there. Stats aren't going to pay off, are they? So let's go back and swap that hairpin down. We can match it, can't we? It's not in the tag, I don't think. But it's 28 RQ. Find off-road tyres. There it is. So that gives us 67. What have we got in the 67 range? 
Surely the red Dodge Charger should be good. It's gotta be, hasn't it? Right, that's round three hopefully fixed up. As I said at the beginning, it takes a bit of thinking, some of these, but we'll get there. Yes, 274, three stars. There's our two slots, good. Okay, race four, let's have a look. New tracks, there's a gravel, a couple of cities, a fast and an incline. Okay, so gravel, we need something with all surface tires. Um, Chrysler Aspen. So it's two city and a couple of fast things, wasn't there? Drop the Challenger in. Trans Am's medium, isn't it? The white Trans Am. And then we've got 54. Need something medium at 54. that. Okay, Dodge Challenger on the first race, it loses. Okay, so we need to swap that. That was the only one that lost though. Okay, so we just need to find something better on the first race. Something a bit more meaty. Is that a bit more meaty? Right, good. The Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport wins. Three stars. Round five. Let's have a look. It's the same track set, slightly different cars. I guess we chuck them on and see what happens. It's normal my attitude for these three round sets. Corvette Grand Sport wins first one. Trans Am Anniversary wins second. Round three, the Trans Am, 20th anniversary, it loses. Okay, so that needs swapping out. Race four should be a win, it is, Monte Carlo. Race five, what was that? That was gravel, wasn't it? That should be fine. No, it's closer than I thought it would be. Okay, right, so we need to get rid of the middle track, don't we? 46 isn't much to play with though. If we can put that in, we can drop down the city streets. Maybe that Chevy. It's not bad stats. Let's give that a go. Okay, the Corvette wins first one. Pontiac um, wins, yes we know that wins, good. Third race is the new car, Stealth Twin Turbo, and it still loses. Okay, so we need to raise that RQ again. Right, this one, this one just wins, good. So that's race four fixed. Um, race five, was the Aspen wins, doesn't it? Yes, okay, so we now have a problem. So we now have a problem still on race three. Okay, let's find something outside the tag, I think. So it needs to be something fast, but I'm not sure that's fast enough. What we really need is some sort of dodge, I think. Challenger, that'll do. That should be good enough. Okay, let's give this a whirl, and hopefully that is that round done. Sorry about all the messing. As I say, veteran challengers are often harder to think about. They do a good job on them. Challenge. Right, race three, here we go. Dodge Challenger against the Aston Martin. It wins, good. So that is that all done. Just run through the fourth race. And this is the fifth race for the Aston. Good, another one in the bag. 4,000 cash. Right, that should be okay. That should be okay. That should be okay, but the city streets um, look harder. I mean, that one should be okay, but it's that one that's the problem. 
against a Bentley. And we have no more RQ, which means we're going to have to kill off some of the ones that we know work. Let's throw a few things back and let's rebuild a hand then. So we need medium or high and we need... Oh god, something in there. It was a Bentley, so it's got pretty good 0-60 time, hasn't it? So it probably needs to be better than the average. Drop that guy in, Dodge Magnum. That gives us 46 to play with. White Trans Am. 47. The Camaro in. That might work. Let's try that. Let's go. This is round six, and that's for the Veteran Challenge token. So that Camaro works. Race two is the white Trans Am. Just works. Good. Excellent. Right, race three is the white Trans Am. Okay, that works. Race four is the red Dodge. And the Aspen should work, shouldn't it? It doesn't. No. Well, that's bad, isn't it? That's just handling figures, I suppose. And that is at 222. So I could match that if I've got it. I've surely got it. Right, but we could just use the Arcadia. That's got a good number on it. 82. Yes, that'll win, surely. Surely. Let's give this a go. Okay. First race Camaro. Let's just skip it. Yes, good. Okay, veteran token done. So that gives us eight tokens. There's nothing to get at the moment. I just took the epic last month, was it? Or month before? So... I'm just gonna have to hang out and wait for the next epic. Right, let's have a look and see what's here then. Three wet, two dry, two of them are city. Right, we'll move that across because that will be useful for the city wet. Um, so we need two more wet standard tire cars. What have we got? Crossfire and the other Chrysler. That leaves us 41. That'll be fine, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Dodge Caliber wins the wet in the streets. Chrysler Crossfire wins the second track. And the Chrysler 200. Be okay. It is good. That wins the twisty road wet. Two dry tracks. My Trans Am wins. And the last track is a city streets for my SSR, which doesn't have the greatest handling, but it does have a good not six. Good, it does just win. Good. Okay, that's another round done. Some good cash. Let's run into eight. Same tracks, different cars. Can we make it work? Surely we can, surely we can. Wow, that just wins, good. Chrysler 200 on the first track. On the hairpin, that just wins as well. Wow, Crossfire Coupe. Third one is the Caliber. Should, yes, is it standard tires, four wheel drive, that wins. Fourth track by Pontiac, which is getting a lot of action. 20th anniversary white Pontiac wins. Fifth track by Chevy truck. Good. Excellent. That's another one done. We've got one more round to go, and that is for the carbon fiber. Let's go. Right, so that hairpin is going to be a pain. I mean, the others will be fine, but... I'm my RQ is not going to match. Okay, so I'm going to have to drop them down. We'll probably keep that SSR on the fifth track. We'll have to drop the rest right back, I guess, to rares, maybe even uncommons to get the RQ up. Probably uncommons, to be fair. 
whatever it is, they need to be standard. Right, let's have a look. Um, Aztec. I'm going to try the granite. Then we'll take that Pontiac, I suppose. So that gets us a good whack of RQ. Probably more than we need, to be fair. Right, round one. Aztec versus Audi. Just wins. Race two. Granite versus the Mazda. So the Mazda, I didn't notice, had standard tyres. Which obviously makes it an easy win for it. Pontiac versus the Jag. Losers as well. Okay, so that's two and three have lost. Let's see what the ZR1 does. That loses as well. Okay. So we're not doing very well here. We'll race four. That's why we race five win. It does! Good! Right, so we need to find a better high-powered car for that fourth track. And since that's my best American dream car, we're going to have to go outside the tag. I mean, we could just chuck in the Lotus. Why not? That's definitely going to win. Uh, might even get us quite a lot of bonus points. And then in the tag, we need some standard tyre cars that are better than the ones we had. I really like that Grand Prix 2 plus 2. We'll put that in. That's often handy. And we'll try that one. It's got a good handling number. Okay, round one, Aztec wins, we know that. There you go. Round two, Pontiac Sunfire. Just wins, wow. Okay, good. That's a good move forward. What about our Pontiac? Pontiac Grand Prix wins, good. And this will be no trouble at all, surely. Wow, that filling tank is really keeping up. Okay, good. That's us done then, I think, because this one worked, didn't it? So that's this carbon fibre. All rounds done. Another token in the bag and we get a carbon fibre. Let's hope it's something good. Buick, Ford, Dodge, Aqua and, ah, BMW, M Touring. I don't know if I've got that, I don't recognise it. Maybe we need to go and have a look. It is new, okay. RQ68 BMW into the Black Forest tag. So it's performance tyres, four wheel drive. I've fused away quite a lot of performance tyre, four wheel drive BMWs over the last six months just to get some upgrades in my legendaries that I've needed for tri series and such. So I'm going to have to start rebuilding those sort of cars, even though they're not very useful. And at some point in the future, I will probably sacrifice them again, um, the BMWs. There's a lot of them in that range. But that's done. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in a couple of days for the next video. Take care of yourself, but get out of here. We are done.